So you said you took a whole year to gather all this knowledge. And I remember when mm-hmm. I was at your house, you had all these books. And for the most part, you read like every single one. Yeah. Have you always been, I guess, that devoted to learning? No, dude. <laughs> dude, it's just like the situation, like I just didn't want to be in the situation I was in. So I was like, how do I not do this? And that was like the path forward. Mm-hmm. So like it could have been like business, real estate or whatever, but like real estate, it seemed attainable and like there was so much free information. So you start listening to bigger pockets and like mm. they tell you what to do. Like Brandon would be like, Hey, underwrite a hundred deals and you'll learn how to underwrite. So I would go on LoopNet and I'd underwrite a hundred deals. And like, I learned how to underwrite. <laughs> um, and they'd throw out books too at the end of every podcast. So I'd be like, I just buy the audio book, buy the book and then like read it or listen to it. Mm. And it's like all the information to get started is just, it's just sitting there. Yeah. And it's literally like, you could pick any of them and they all work. And it's just like pick one and then, do the steps yeah but most people just like and i did that for a year right like i could have bought a house way sooner like after the first book i read but i was scared like the first deal i did was the scariest deal out of all of them so one of the things that i think about when it comes to taking action Mm -hmm. is actually knowing what you're looking for sure you could be like yeah yo go underwrite 100 deals yeah and then i'll be (laughs) like okay and then but then i get that to the the computer and i'm looking at the deals like what the hell am I underwriting for? Mm-hmm. How, what what am I trying to do? So it's like, uh-uh. how do you know what you're looking for? That's pretty much what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. So, I mean, I was just doing those to learn how to underwrite to do math. Because, like, underwriting an apartment complex versus underwriting, like, a house, like, it's not exactly the same, but it's the basic concepts are. So, I mean, I was just trying to learn, like, how to calculate returns. So when I go buy a property, like, I know what my return will be. For most people starting out, though, like I only had one option that I could think of. Like I didn't know how to do a seller care. I didn't know how to do all this. Like my option that I could think of was I buy a house and rent out the rooms. So I was like, I'll do that. So like it's it's honestly easier with less resources and like just starting out because you have fewer options. Mm. Like if you had the knowledge you had today, dude, and then you tried to start out, you'd be like, you wouldn't know what to do. (laughs) You wouldn't know what to start with. (laughs) So I guess it's like, oh, if you only are able to put three and a half percent down from the FHA loan. Yeah, do it. It's like you can only get these single family houses. You're just going to underwrite single family houses with three and a half percent down and then Mm -hmm. figure out how much rent is going to come in and what's what type of expenses are you going to have? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, just starting out, just do do whatever you can to start. Like, it's better to do something than nothing. Like, yeah. And most people's problem is, the, like, the first one and getting started. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not not knowledge. Like, dude, there's people that knew, know, like, so much about real estate from, like, all the books and everything, but don't own any properties. Like, it's, like, just buy one. So, what caused you to, I guess, take the action? Dude, again, it was just, like, the plan to not have to have a job, like, have the option to work and, like, figuring out how to do that and then just seeing all the people who did it like you if you like see what they did like they lay out all the steps for you so it's just trying to repeat that Mm. um whether that be like you can do it with stocks like i was just putting everything in the s p 500 and it's like that would have worked it would have took longer or you make more over time and invest more but Mm. like it works like yeah today trevor and i were at lunch with this like 60 year old dude who's been in real estate for like the last 30 to 35 years and it, it was crazy because <laughs> it was like Trevor and I were just reflecting on this guy and his life story and what he has shared with us. And it's literally not super well connected with anybody. Had to figure out the entire real estate game on his own. Mm-hmm. Don't know these different creative strategies. He was just doing. He was just buying houses. Yeah. And he stopped buying for like 20 years. He stopped buying 20 years ago. Yeah, he could like, have had so many. He like, had 100 <laughs> units at one point. Yeah. And what one of the biggest catalyst was him like, what, cassette tapes and oh, dude, TV dude. infomercials. Yeah. It was like $300 worth of education. Yeah. And a lot of people would be like, oh, that's a scam. Dude. Yeah. It's yeah, he bought, he said he bought a cassette tape for 300 bucks and it told him how to buy houses. And he split it with five people. <laughs> with five people because he didn't want to spend the 300 bucks. <laughs> Bro, the craziest story. So, um, cause we'll cold call on deals and like write letters and do all that. I wrote a letter to all these owners. This lady calls me back and like in the letter, I just say like, Hey, I just want to hear how you got started and like hear your story. Cause I was just trying to learn. This lady calls me and I ask her how she got started. She was like 80 at this point owned like. 20 mil worth of real estate like a single lady she moved here as a maid didn't speak english she bought a book that was called like how to become a millionaire with real estate and she's like i just read the book and did what it said 
and she didn't speak English, made below minimum wage. And she turned that to like, she's like, I just did what the book said. Like, <laughs> what were the main things that the book said? Did you ever? Dude, I don't out? remember at this point. Okay. Like, because I was just trying to buy her stuff too. Okay. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> but like, it was cool to hear. Like, she shared the whole story. And I was asking her questions, but there's like, that's not like uncommon. Like, there's tons of people. Like, I had like five people respond to Larry, and they all had the same story. It's just different books and different things. But she's like, I just read one book and then did it. Dude, it's crazy because we're going to be in that like 60 year old guy's shoes in yeah. like the next 30, 40 years or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to be like, oh, how did you guys get started? It's literally going to be the same exact story. I listen to Bigger Pockets. Like, yeah. I mean, like, like, what's a be, podcast? 